This car borrowed a set of square lights for some TV work that it did, um, but I always preferred the round headlight look, so I'm going to fit a set of these. Remove the indicator first. Rotate this out. Push the clips. Three little screws holding them on. Two on the front. and one on the back. It's the side light bulb and the main beam and the earth. These use the same three screws but in different positions. around. I'm missing the little clips at the bottom so I might have to uh, tie wrap them into place or something for now. That's one for the auto jumbles. I've just replaced one of the lights for the moment because I know that this light uh, passed the test recently and was focused but the one on this side wasn't. So I'm going to set this replaced round light against the square one and then when I have that done I'll uh, put in the new round light on this side and set it against the round one. Now, if you're wondering why I have the car in the garage the wrong way around it's because I'm going to focus them against the back of the door. They're actually quite close, but I think the round light is a little bit high, um, so I'm going to go through some of the procedure of setting them. The first thing to do is to push the car in uh, and make a mark of the centre of the light on the wall or door in this case. So that one's actually coming quite a bit below the V and you can see that the pattern is shaped like this. So that should actually be the centre of this. Now I know this light is right, so I don't think I'm going to change that and I'm going to allow that that error is actually the car isn't straight to the, the door. I unfortunately don't have seven and a half metres of space to push the car back. That's how much you need to, uh, to do this properly. But uh, it's a nice enough clear image so we should be able to uh, do a tight day. I'm going to actually bring this one down to match that one.
I'll bring the bottom of the V across a bit with the new light. Should be about it there. Pretty much the same procedure here. Remove the indicator first and then take out the old square light. It's important that the, uh, the outside of this earths well with the body because the, the feed for the earth into the headlight bulb actually comes off this uh, little spade connector goes on here uh, from this little one here and uh, if that doesn't get um, a good earth with the body um, you'll have a very weak uh, uh, light from the bulb. So that's going to connect on here and with fresh paint on it, it's kind of critical, so I'll actually scratch off a bit of the paint. So that should make a good earth. Bring that one down now to match the other one. Just one more little problem there. The uh, you can see the there's a hole here for the screw, and it's missing on this side. So I'm gonna make up a little clip myself so that it uh, locates properly on the top, because I don't have the proper mountings for the bottom. So we're not leaving it in by one screw. Just take a little off cut like this and cut it into shape. I like that look. <laughs>